Dusty Bin was a regular feature of which TV game show? You saw this, didn't you? What do you think is going to come up? Um, I hope it's 3 2 1. Did you do it? No. No. Nor could Ted. <laughs> Dusty Bin was a regular feature of which TV game show? Sale of the Century. The Golden Shot. Winner takes all. 3 2 1. I'll go with 3 2 1. You would at this point, of course, at home be screaming at the television, wouldn't you? Totally. <laughs> Final answer. Totally, yes. It's the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs> In which city is the TV sitcom The Royal Family set? In which city is it set? Manchester, London, Birmingham, Liverpool. Have you seen it? Yes. Where are they? In the living room. Yeah. Let's fine tune it a bit more. Which city is the TV sitcom The Royal Family set? Manchester, London, Birmingham, or Liverpool? It's worth 2,000. You have got those three lifelines. What are you thinking? I think it's Manchester. London, Birmingham, Liverpool. Audience, you can. Audience on your keypads, please. Let's try and get Paul up to £2,000. This is the question. In which city is the TV sitcom The Royal Family set? A, B, C or D? All on your keypads, please. It's worth £2,000. All vote now. <laughs> 72%. Um, so Manchester... 4% London, 6% Birmingham, 18% Liverpool. Uh, it's up to you, that's quite high. Final answer, not Liverpool. Not Liverpool, no. Manchester, Chris, final answer. It's good, it's the right answer, you've got 2,000 pounds. <laughs> While in prison, which Coronation Street character became known as the Weatherfield One? Alma, Deirdre, Raquel, Sally. You a Coronation Street fan? Yeah. Um, it's got to be Deirdre. Why? I don't think any of the others have been in prison. I hope not. <laughs> they all look as if they might have been. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you, final answer. Yeah, Deirdre, final answer. £2,000, Deirdre? Yeah. It's the right answer, you got £2,000. <laughs> Who directed the film musical My Fair Lady? Billy Wilder, George Cukor, Robert Wise, George Stevens. I haven't got a clue and I'm going to take the money. Well, think about it a bit. No. <laughs> Not at all. I don't think you do, do you? No. Give me a big hand. Richard Godfroy goes away with £64,000. Just before you go, I can tell you the right answer there is B, George Cooper, and you couldn't care less, I did you? Give me a big hand. Great start to the new year. £64,000. Well played, Richard. Much. Cheers. Have a good night. What are the first names of the comedy duo French and Saunders? Mel and Sue, Patsy and Edina, Victoria and Julie, Dawn and Jennifer. Dawn and Jennifer. It's right out, so you've got £1,000. That was all very straightforward, was it? <laughs> Welsh holiday resort Port Merion was the setting for which cult TV series of the 1960s? You know this, don't you? I can't remember the name, but I'll recognise it, I think. Man in a Suitcase, The Prisoner, The Fugitive, The Protectors. The Prisoner. Final answer. Yeah. You've just won 64,000. <laughs> the film Sleepless in Seattle ends with a romantic meeting on top of which landmark? Eiffel Tower. 
Statue of Liberty, St Paul's Cathedral, or Empire State Building? D, the Empire State Building. Confident? That's the right answer. You've got eight thousand pounds. Which evil character did Jack Nicholson play in the film Batman? The Riddler, the Penguin, the Joker, Mr. Freeze. The Joker. Happy? Yes. It's okay. It's good. It's the right answer. You've got five hundred pounds. <laughs> Who won the Best Actor Oscar in 1992 for his role in Scent of a Woman? Al Pacino, Jeremy Irons, Michael Douglas, or Gene Hackman? I'll play. You want to play for £1,000? You get to keep £1,000 if you give me the right answer. Otherwise, you go home with nothing. Give me your answer. Go for A. You're going for A, Al Pacino. It's your answer. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. <laughs> In Coronation Street, what's the name of Jack Duckworth's wife? Rita, Emily, Betty, or Vera? Vera. Sure? Yeah. Yep. That's the right answer. Five quick. <laughs> Which cast member from the TV sitcom Friends starred in the movie Scream? Courtney Cox, David Schwimmer, Jennifer Aniston, Matthew Perry. Courtney Cox. Why? I haven't seen the film, but I've seen the adverts for it. Final answer. Final answer. What did you say? You saw an advert? Yes. And what happened in it? Pass. I can't remember. <laughs> you seem to remember seeing Courtney Cox? Yes. You're right, she was. You got £16,000. <laughs> Of which film series is the character John McClane the hero? Lethal Weapon, Highlander, Die Hard, Halloween. Take your time, you've got three lifelines um, if you need. Die Hard. Final answer? Yep. You had a thousand pounds, you've now got two thousand pounds. In the film Witness, Harrison Ford hides out among which religious group? Jehovah's Witnesses, the Amish, Mennonites, or Quakers? Nice. You've got three lifelines, Graham. OK. I think I'll play, Chris. £16,000. You don't want to use your lifelines? Not yet, no. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, I think we'll go for B, the Amish. You've got £16,000 at the moment. If you're right, you go home tonight, no matter what happens, with £32,000. If you get it wrong, you've lost fifteen. You can find out what happens in a couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah. Whatever happens tonight, you leave here with £1,000, but if your answer was wrong, you lose £15,000. Your answer was B, the Amish. And it's worth £32,000. <laughs>